Hi guys, welcome back to the Shannon Show podcast. So today's episode is going to be a review of Love Island 2020, episode 35. So today's episode is basically just two big things. We know it, there's going to be a dumping, but if you watched the first look, you would know that there was also going to be the parents slash family coming to visit. I'd just like to say thank you very much to everyone who subscribed to my channel. I finally hit 1.2k subscribers so thank you very much to everyone who's subscribed I really appreciate it so obviously the episode starts off with Shanice getting a picture of her and Luke's T's T's family together so we instantly know it's going to be the family reunion episode so first up obviously it is Shanice and Luke's parents Shanice has her sisters come to visit and Luke has his parents. I'm not surprised Luke's parents came, both of them, they were like free holiday to South Africa, I'm there mate. Because usually parents shy away from coming on these reality TV shows, but they were like free holiday in South Africa, I'm there babe. In terms of like seeing them interact with their family members, Shanice and her siblings are quite similar, like they literally speak the same, like it's uncanny. And Luke's parents, Luke's parents seem really fun. You know, they're giving him affirmations. Well, all of the families were giving them affirmations saying how they were so proud of him. You know, they address the breakfast club. Luke was just like, next question. And then obviously we see Shanice and Luke's T's parents come together. And I feel like they blended quite well. Like there was family chemistry there. Family chemistry there, obviously they both approved of each other so going on so continuing their relationship on the outside it seems like there's a good foundation set there next is luke and demi and both of their parents approve of each other again the families seem to get on well there's chemistry there and luke m's parents even say hi to luke t which i thought was quite sweet next it was priscilla and mike priscilla has her brother and her mum come in and Mike has in his brothers. Now I've been like keeping up with, obviously on the hashtag, Mike's account, which is run by his brother is always up there in the top tweets. And his one of his brothers have been tweeting about getting flew out to South Africa for the longest of time. And it's just so funny that he actually got to that point, just about made it. And you can tell that Mike and his brothers are really close. Obviously Mike got very emotional and you could tell that he just missed his brother's so much especially with all of the stuff that he's gone through i feel like he just was happy to see someone who would like back him regardless but there's nothing like that strong sibling bond priscilla's mum was so cute so sweet she kind of reminds me of my own mother and they come together and it seems like the families get on well obviously mike and priscilla's brother had some banter he was like oh we're gonna have a little talk we didn't see that i feel like that might have been interesting to see the brother try and give like, you know, the, the protective brother speech. Mike's singing Priscilla's praises. He's saying, you know, the mum loves her. Priscilla's quite happy about that. Obviously, like every now and again, there's always debate online about, you know, what would you do if your mum doesn't like your partner? So it's a good thing that Mike's mother is fond of Priscilla. One thing to note is that Priscilla's mum basically brings up marriage like obviously she doesn't say it explicitly but obviously African culture when you're asking for like hand and stuff that means marriage but I don't think she was actually talking about marriage I think she was you know trying to check Mike and basically saying if you want to be my daughter's boyfriend if you want to be her man then you have to adhere to you know the our strict um, cultural customs. I can only assume from my general knowledge of African customs and being Congolese that she was basically checking him, basically saying like, there ain't gonna be no 50-50 business, there ain't gonna be no letting the woman pay business, making the woman pay business. Strict African culture that can't run in strict African culture. So I feel like she was trying to check him there. I think he caught the check-in. I think he's going to have success coming up the house. So I don't think money is going to be an issue for him anymore. Next, it was Finn and Paige's parents. Finn's dad addresses the foot fetish. And again, the parents kind of blend in well. There's chemistry there. 
I always find it funny when like the parents bring up like all of like the explicit and inappropriate stuff that they've done in the house because I feel like when you're coming in there you're trying to you know bring some personality try and make a name for yourself you forget that you know people who actually know you are watching the show well I assume that they forget next it was Ched and Jess's parents again Ched's parents both the mum and dad came out they were like South African son you are seeing me Jess's parents come and of course they also reunite her with Eve a special gift to Jess there Jess's parents seem seem to approve of Ched I'm not sure about Ched's parents though because when he was like what do you think of Jess they were just like she's a pretty girl yeah she's a beautiful girl they didn't really say anything else which I thought was quite interesting <laughs> And then on top of that, when the parents come together, it was a bit awkward. It kind of felt like Ched's parents came in to see Ched and enjoy their South African holiday. It was just kind of just like now them having to interact with Jess and her parents and her sister is just a bit, it felt a bit forced. It felt like they didn't really want to be there. Did anyone else kind of catch that or do you feel like it was just awkwardness or do you feel like they just wanted to go home after seeing Ched? And then of course next is the dumping. Now as I, in my prior podcast, I suspected that it was going to be Mike and Priscilla going or possibly Jess and Ched. So obviously the results come in, the safe couples were Finn and Paige, Jess and Ched and Shanice and Luke T. Now they didn't allude to the fact whether Luke and Demi had the lowest votes. It was just kind of just like the couple that doesn't get saved goes home. So we don't actually know if Luke and Demi got the least votes or not. But obviously Mike and Priscilla get dumped from the island. I feel like we all knew it was possibly going. We were all hoping it was somebody else. But Mike's time is up he didn't make it to the final i thought they were just going to put them all in the final i don't know why they didn't like there's four couples they should have just done that i don't know why they didn't just let them stay for the final it's, just, it's a bit mean i think but yes mike 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 we've had ups and downs with mike we thought we couldn't trust him then we thought we could trust him then he got dumped by leanne then he was trying to get with Jess and then he found Priscilla and he was solid but then people were saying he was playing a game he's been up and down but you know what Mike has been consistent throughout this whole experience and I feel like he was a game player but he played a good game I don't think there's anything that he could have done differently and I feel like yeah he should be proud of himself he's been through a lot of situations in the house which he's handled with such maturity he's found priscilla i hope they do well i hope they get the bag and rinse the bag as far as they can rinse it so obviously in the final it's going to be Paige and finn jess and ched shanice and luke t and demi and luke m now i was kind of hoping that luke m and demi would go today but in terms of who was going to win obviously i'm voting for shanice and luke t i've already casted my vote and i'll continue to do that i think you know what i want to say shanice and luke t are the clear winners but you know sometimes twitter is trustworthy sometimes it isn't that's the only kind of source that i'm getting from finn and Paige. they still have a large following Luke M and Demi still have a very large following. We haven't really been given an indication of who is most popular. So really, it's not going to be Chad and Jess, I know that. But out of those three, Demi, Luke M, Luke T and Shanice, Paige and Finn, I'm narrowing it into Shanice, Luke T and Paige and Finn. But I think it is going to be a close one, too close to call. But obviously everyone is entitled to vote who they want to vote. I would love to see Shanice and Luke T win. And yeah, it's so weird because at the beginning of the series, I did not like Shanice. I did not like her at all. I thought she was a Disney witch. And Luke T, I thought he was just a bit cringy after like his entrance. But now I absolutely love them. Considering Shanice's journey, the tables really have turned for her and I feel like this would be such a Love Island success story if she was to win. But yeah, let me know who you are voting for, who you're rooting for. 
And let me know if any of your opinions have changed on the Islanders throughout the series. People are here for Priscilla running up to Ched's mum and saying hello auntie. People are here for Luke T's dad hugging his other son Luke M. People are here for Mike and his brother's moment together. People are showing like for Mike and Priscilla and the representation of black love on mainstream British reality TV. Honestly, it was a lovely sight to see. I really hope that was what it was going to be for Leanne and Mike. But Priscilla, you know, she stepped in and she really did us justice. When Leanne and Mike first got together, I was a bit skeptical about like the representation, whether a, were they a good example of black love on TV. But I definitely think Priscilla and Mike were. See, oh, I'm not the only one who clocked that. Priscilla's mum said that she has to pay the bride price. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was hinting at the girlfriend price as well and the girlfriend treatment. People are living for the wholesome content. People are upset that Mike and Priscilla have been dumped. People are rooting for Priscilla and Mike's future bags. People are here for the mums mimicking Shanice's O100%. People are standing Priscilla. People are standing Priscilla's mum. People are telling people to follow Priscilla on Instagram. I've already followed her. But yes, I'd suggest following Priscilla on Instagram if you liked her as a contestant. You know, followers, followers really count on Instagram and stuff like that when it's like getting the bag. So if you like any of the contestants, considering giving them a follow on Instagram to help them out. People are wondering if Mike's brothers are single. Honestly, all of their families is beautiful. People are here for the men in the house getting emotional. People are here for the mention of Jeloff. Yeah, well, I forgot to mention it, but yeah, when the brothers were mentioning Mike's welcome home dinner, you know that welcome home dinner, you know when you come back from uni and your mum really makes an effort with the welcome back food, the best rice, the best stew, the best sauce, the best everything. People are standing the Luke's friendship and people are predicting what the order of the final is going to be and people are saying that they don't understand how Luke M and Demi stayed and people are standing Luke T's mum. So yes, on that note, what are your predictions for Sunday and the final episode? I think, I think, I'm hopeful, but I think it's going to be Shanice and Luke T as the winner, Finn and Paige second, then Demi and Luke, and then Ched and Jess fourth. That's who I think it is going to be. My ideal lineup would be Shanice and Luke T winning, then Jess and Ched second, third Paige and Finn, and then Luke and Demi. That would be my ideal lineup. But yeah, let me know what your predictions are for the final on Sunday. For those of you wondering, my Twitter handle is at Shannon Fabuloso. The link is in the bio if you're wondering. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Let me know what you thought of this podcast. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have, don't forget to put your notification bell on so you'll know when the next podcast is dropping. Till next time, guys. Bye.